undefeated this season, 9-0. and oh. He has pinned five straight all nine victories, bonus points. He made short, short work of it against Nebraska's Liam Cronin on Friday night. Well, you know, he's had those two surgically repaired knees, but you know what? You can start to see the explosiveness come back into Spencer Slee's wrestling here, and uh, that's trouble for the field at 125. Going against the two-time All-American for Wisconsin, Eric Barnett. You know, he's, had, he's never had six consecutive falls in his career. Doing it against an All-American here. These guys going at it right away and clubbing. Eric Barnett has lost two straights. And good action, and Lee's got Barnett. Hit him on his back momentarily. A takedown again in typical Spencer Lee fashion. It doesn't take long. He's on the board with two, just 10 seconds in. And you see Adam leaning one direction, now coming back to making work some side tilt action there. So strong here, loading him up on the hips. He's already getting the count. Spencer Lee holding four. So much four, offense. Here, four, three. Just like that, six nothing for the two time Hodge Trophy winner out of Murraysville, Pennsylvania. Loading him back one, up there one more two, time. The Getting the count. Have the legs in. We got two on that. I think he came up. We got two. We got two. We got two. Let's got take two. a look at that first takedown. Right. I like this position right here. Fakes going one way, right. gets Barnett to square up and comes right back into a whip over there. Loads him up for back points after that. Set. Two yeah. more near four Cover points makes it eight nothing. Lee looking to become just the fifth wrestler ever to win four individual titles. It's one match at a time, but of course he's got his eyes on Saturday night, March 18th from Tulsa, Oklahoma. But he will look to finish. That quest for history. I tell you what, that was a great job of competing there by Barnett here to get out from underneath that. Did a nice job of covering the hands, getting to his feet, moving the feet. He's being moving. One, two, move your feet. Move your feet. Eric Barnett, an All-American in 2021. It was eighth. And last March in Detroit as a sixth seed finished in seventh. Spencer Lee is our State Farm State of Success. There you see his four falls in the Big Ten, and nobody's made it out of Look the out first of period. Look out of it. Stalemate. Center. Stalemate whistled easy, with 118 here in this first period. Okay. There's head coach Tom Brands of Iowa. Iowa winning eight of the ten matches Friday night, and they're winning against Nebraska, Wisconsin, winning against Purdue. One more counter off of a Barnett's kind of sweep single right there. He's got the front headlock tied up there, reaching. Improve, improve some good reactions here by, by Barnett here to maybe get a stalemate in this position. I like what Lee has right there. See how he's attacked the wrist right there underneath. It's easy to turn around on that, go around once you have that wrist tied up. Couple of three-time state champions in high school, Barnett. From Hortonville, Wisconsin. Actually from Greenville, Russell at Hortonville High School for Chris Genrick. And you have Spencer Lee, of course, winning three state titles at Franklin Regional. There's that shot there that he's getting into right now, coming right back into it. He can settle back. Barnett doing a nice job on the roll through, but nobody usually gets this stuff on, on Lee, but he's got that far ankle tied right there. If he can create any type of elevation for himself, he might be able to look for something big, and he grabs the head, and Lee just, if he could free that left ankle right there, he's going to score the point. He's got two. the leg in. There's two. Ray Santiago yeah, giving the two out there. I think that's a good call. Two more inside of 20 seconds for Spencer Lee. Up 10 to 1. He takes riding time over a minute. Spencer Lee at the moment one of seven three-time national champions for the Hawkeyes. Right, here we got Javon. Red's choice. And Eric Barnett, Jim. To get Let's to the second top. period to saying something against down. Lee. Yeah, and this is that little scramble action right here. It traps that far ankle right now. You see, he collects it on the roll through. Oh, they head down like that. And most times, guys will go ahead and try to bump Lee back over to his rear. He grabs for the here head right here. And that gives Lee an opportunity to slide that right leg in. Barnett lost on Friday night to Matt Ramos, 4-3. And I like what Barnett was thinking there. He was thinking big move to get back into this match. Now he slides the leg in. We know he's pretty tough in that position. And Lee, going to have to work here. This guy who's skilled in the top position, a couple-time All-American. We saw him at the Midlands, was very impressive. Beat Brandon Courtney of Arizona State 6-2 to claim that title. 
Yeah, but this Eric Bernina Spencer Lee in trouble, but he quickly recovers. They got some oohs and ahs, the attention of the crowd. Yeah, he's going for it here in that top position. Now he finds himself in another battle here, and this is what guys really can't having a difficult time to respond to in this weight class here. Once he establishes that lead and gets on top of you in that second or late in the first period, he really puts the power on you. So Barnett with two near fall, then the 2-4 Lee on the reversal, 12-3 match. As the riding time now over 60 seconds once again for the Hawkeye Lee. And he slides oh, no, right no. back into a no, trapped no. arm tilt right there, loading the hips up. Barnett doing a nice job of One, staying out of it, but not two, this time. He just tightens three, it up. He's the best in the country four. at this. Got the four. And now he's going to come back into that same, wing same position hole, here. So he's got that, that arm trapped that arm. behind. Watch Watch that arm. Potentially dangerous situation. Now he's in a position where he can get the ball. Spencer Lee looking for a sixth straight fall. He's going to cinch him tight. Center of the mats. He's out. Plenty of time to work it through here. Spencer Lee looking for his 48th consecutive victory. And the march towards history continues for Spencer Lee. He's ranked number two in the country, a perfect eight and zero. Oh. It's Real Woods and Joe Zargo for Wisconsin. Zargo two and one in the Big Ten, a nice win on Friday night. Defeating Purdue's Parker Philly is 7 to 4. Yeah, that is a, a big win there face, for Zargo. Guys. Keep him legal. Real Woods, really been impressed with him. You know, Russell in that Center. match with Kyle Berwick against Nebraska Russell here, Center. he kind of just exploded out of some scramble situations. Looked like, uh, excuse me, Hardy, excuse me, Brock Hardy made a mistake there on the, the guy, but the 41 uh, pounder had him in a cradle, had Proof Woods in a cradle, and he basically exploded out that got the left hand through and you know it was impressive in all of his scrambles and I like what he's doing right here coming back in may not have a lot of time but you see how he kept that right foot in the whole time scoops up the one. bottom leg no no one time, real one woods looking for a fall here in this first period Zargo trying to fight off his back I'm not so sure you got a count on that I'm looking at that referee's fingers Ray Santiago he doesn't really didn't give him any points there one count one count one count Woods has been a fast starter. Got a tech fall against Frankie Talshahar of Northwestern Good last working. week, 17-2. to And then Hardy, we saw with that first period on Friday, Jim, a takedown, and he's really good with his tilts. Yeah, he is, and this is where he dominates. He's good. Go ahead, got that near arm. You see Zargo trying to down. cover the fingers with the left arm. He gentlemen. knows that, that that's the arm the back, that uh, wants to glides back into a wing situation here at the edge of the mat. Not a lot of real estate to work with Watch here. Out. Looks like... Sarko will go okay, off the mat. Right Real Woods, six of his eight victories this season, no, 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 bonus no, no, no. point wins. In beating no, no. Hardy, it was a final six to four. That was the highest ranked opponent he has beaten in his career. Hardy having a really good year for the Cornhuskers after that defeat, now 19 and three. Yeah, I was impressed with Hardy in that match. He just got, he got after it, but just, you know, the conditioning I think that Woods has and his ability to go ahead and control guys in the top position, but not just it really make them work, right? Stuff in their head, winning the scrambles. He's totally committed to what he wants to do in the top. You see, he's already One, got the hips two, loaded up right there. This time three, he's got the count. Two, near four. Two points awarded. Now four nothing for Woods. Russell that Montini Catholic was a four-time finalist, three-time champion, part of a couple team titles. Got the lost arm. Two, this tilt right three, there one more time. Four, so good with these tilts. He can four, put the points up four. in a hurry, of course, four, with the four-point near four fall. Four. Watch that arm. 40 seconds in this first period. He's up 8 nothing. a takedown, a couple of turns. Watch Six that, back that. points in this first watch period that, for the that. Hawkeye Woods. From high school, went to Stanford, where he was a two-time All-American and two-time Pac-12 champion. Potentially dangerous whistle. So we just have to be careful, that's all. He's got business, of course, here today, Jim. But We're going to restart. Well, I think he'll have to think about next Friday with Woods so and Bo Bartlett of Penn State. Oh, it's a super matchup. The athletic Bartlett and then the guy like this with Woods' skill in the top position. Okay, ready, set, green, covering. You know, it's difficult to get either guy tired.
All right, so you can see two fresh guys going out there, but Woods has the ability one more time to go ahead and lock guys up and load them up. You know, here's the other thing about Woods. It comes national tournament time, Thursday into Friday here. This is a guy that can go ahead and put up five, you know, maybe six, uh, uh, you know, sets of, uh, of bonus points here for you going Thursday and Friday. Going to make an adjustment. Final seconds. And the horn sounds to close the first. Over two minutes of riding time. Defer. Red the first to green. What do you want? Neutral? Green's going to go neutral. I will choose neutral. Okay. Which choosing the neutral position there really wants to get after on the feet. We saw attack the right leg of Zargo on that first takedown. Zargo from South River, New Jersey, wrestled at Bergen Catholic. Get those hands out of the face, guys. An NCAA qualifier last year for the Wisconsin Badgers as a Center. 27 seed was one and two. Lost to Cole, Matthews, and Andrew Aliras, two of the top-ranked guys at the weight class this Center. season. Woods is tenacious, Jim. He really is, and I, you know, and, and explosive at the right time. His timing of when to go ahead and hit the scramble move, but he just does it with the, such, you know, Lays back a little bit, gives you the position you want, and he just explodes right back into you. I think we're seeing some purpose here, too. What I also like what I see from Woods, it gets the tie-up he wants here. He's marching forward. He's going ahead and driving that left leg forward. He's pursuing it. As a two-on-one. Right there. You can see how he's moving forward here with that, trying to get a reaction out of Zargo. He doesn't get it. So that's sweet attempt there from Zargo. Now he's got a single leg. Maybe we'll see some of this explosive we're going to talk about in the scramble situation. Flexibility. If you're Zargo, you want to try to yank him back a little bit. Now they're to their feet. Zargo looking to finish. Not a whole lot of real estate. Got to stay patient. He's got 35 seconds. And maybe bait him into that roll right there and anticipate it. But you can't try to finish this on the outer third, can you? He does. And there's the takedown for the Badgers. Zargo, he's on the board. It's an 8-2 match. Well, he, he had just as much real estate as he felt he needed here when he pulled it back here inside the outer third of the mat and then finished the takedown. We're still in bounds, guys. We're still in. Out, oh, stop. And then right. we always talk about this me. finishing the period of top position. You just never know what's going to happen in this third period. Red's going to hold green, take your spot. Okay, he is set. Red, cover and hold. No, caution on green. There's a caution on Woods is first. Caution green. Hold on, I like hold that. On. Three seconds get him left. Set. Try to get an escape. Okay, get set, that don't edge. move. Wait for that whistle. Go ahead, Red, cover. On the ankle, one. And Zargo will finish the period on top. Yeah. Take a look at this takedown here. I thought it was going to take him all the way back to the middle. And with Woods' scramble ability, now he sets him and dumps him down right there and then collects the far ankle. So very confident in his finish there against an explosive wrestler in Woods. Neutral here in this third period. Woods in bonus point territory, I would say, early here in the third, up by six, and riding time at 149. Woods this season, a champion at the Soldier Salutes to close out 2022. Remember, this, this position that they got into, how he got to the first single leg Zargo did, Woods was marching in with that two-on-one, -on -one, all right? And Zargo had a nice little limp out of that situation. So the foot sweep. Yeah, he's just, but he's, he's coming forward here with it. Now Woods a little bit more into uh, conservative mode right now, into the stance he wants. He's not really trying to go ahead and get to a corner right now. He likes that two-on-one, goes right back to it on the right side of Zargo, of that, but gentlemen. not pushing in as hard as he was when he got the, get, was, gave up the takedown. This is the first meeting between these two. These two met on the mat for the first time, Iowa and Wisconsin, a hundred years green, ago. Green. There's a stall call. On Woods.
We got potentially dangerous. We got hands to the face. Let's keep him out of the face, okay? And the warning there. Trying no. to take the, the head, hand, head post there out of the eyes. Good call on that. But again, Woods showing how he'll be pretty difficult to take down with a, with a short lead. It was a huge first period, a takedown in two turns. And Real Woods is going to remain undefeated for the Hawkeyes, now 9 and 0. With the riding time points, 9-2. Woods over Zargo, three more on the board for the men in black. Yeah, look at the, the column there, the bonus points decisions, major decisions, tech falls, falls. Max Murin is really putting up the points this year. We all know that Austin Bowman as the returning Big Ten champion can really come out flying in the first few seconds, and he does a great job of attacking low on the body, from the upper body. Just saying, scared money don't make the money. Really good in big matches. Max Mirren, career high in bonus point victories. You saw the graphic there with 10, including four techs and four falls. Oh, Gomez right in a shot right there. Fought off pretty well. See how he climbs up that a beautiful job. And you see Mirren trying to dive out of that position really made it easier for Gomez to finish. Austin Gomez, you said it before, Jim, scared money doesn't make money. He can hit the 450-foot home run, but he can also just pick you to pieces. Yes, he can, and that's just, he sees something there. Does a great job of drilling on his technique. Sees offense really well. Good as quick escape here. He's not going to bother here in this tech, this match here where he knows Miriam can grind on you. Wants to stay on his feet, stay fresh. Of course, the big win for Gomez this season coming against three-time national champion Yanni Diakamahalas of Cornell. Beat Yanni 9-3. Gomez 3-0 in the Big Ten. Beat Jaden Reynolds of Purdue 24-6 this past Friday night for his first tech fall of the season. He's up 2-1 here. 55 seconds into this match. Nice crowd here in Madison, quiet at the moment. As Gomez trying to put Wisconsin on the scoreboard. And I think what Muren wants to do, like, like he always wants to do, is he wants to make that match a war. You see that nose uh, tape that he's got on his nose. He's willing to go ahead and mix it up, put his head in there, grind it out, work heavy on the head, get the guy moving. Works a lot of go-behinds. Nice job by Gomez controlling on the inside on green. He gets the stall warning on Buren. Just followed it up with a little shot. I like the way Ray Santiago is calling the stalling in this match. Straight on double leg attempt there by Buren. Fought off pretty well by Gomez. Oh, that was good action there by Buren. Basically, he knew he was in position here. Kept his feet moving, not only coming to his feet, but go ahead and sprawl back out of that when Gomez came for a shot. Gomez a takedown. The quick escape for Mirren, two to one. 50 seconds here in the first. Mirren in his sixth year, four-time NCAA qualifier. First team All-American by the NWCA in 2020, down at 141. And that's one of the things you want to figure out in this big match is if I get on my offense here, can I get back to a neutral position here? And then sometimes fingers, if you get feel that one time, you know, what the guy's going to try to do, Let him go. that Let him go. stops your shot. It's really valuable, especially coming to the third period, then you can pick up your pace and get more shooting done. Gomez is doing a great job of staying in the middle of the mat. Short time here in this first period. And these two hammers will take it to the second period. Choice goes to Mirren. Going down. And he'll go on Green's bottom. Going down. Austin Gomez. Yeah, Carroll Stream, Illinois. Russell Lake, Lombard North. Where he captured three move. Illinois Drive state right titles. These guys have been around a while. Good breakdown there from Gomez. Riding on the right-hand side here, trying to collect a wrist, and not really committed it to that. We're tied at two. Fingers, get out of fingers. 
Max Mirren, Jim, one of those guys, he will make it miserable. He is so physical, tough. Yeah, and since he's gotten the quick escapes here with the, you know, no riding time, only 26 second advantage there. He can just go ahead and try to make this a war if he wants right now. See the guys both hit, both collide on the shot. He can just try to go ahead and push Gomez and just try to test his, uh, his conditioning. Mirren at the national fingers, tournament. The fingers. Let him go. Round a 12 guy three times. And he suffered some tough defeats that round. Doing a beautiful job of keeping Mirren off of his shots though. Head position is good right there. Remember, he's the one that's got the takedown. He'll take the down position of the third period, but this doesn't end up with any scoring. There's, There's a, a shot, shot here for Mirren, single leg. Nice job of stuffing the head by Gomez there. Really did a great job of adjusting his hips on top, and now he looks for a little gamble right there. To me, I'm punting in this situation. What you mean by that is if you're Gomez, you want the stalemate. Yes, exactly. All right. And see, he took a little risk in attacking the knee, but right now that's a good action there, and really made Mirren work. We're wrestling neutral. Scoreboard with 20 seconds. Gomez, just by his map position, is making a you know, good visual here. He's not backing up. He's not the one on the edge. It's a family affair for the Gomez family. There's his dad, Hector Gomez. And at the Midlands, we saw a sister, Jim. She was really impressive. Yeah, it, uh, All right, he is set, cover and hold. Wait for that whistle, gentlemen. Here we go. I believe that's Hector, but, you know, we're doing our best to recognize Hector in the Gomez Wrestling Club. But, hey, you're right. One of the most best One. matches we've done here so far was the Midlands Finals with Alexis Gomez. Come from behind win. Gomez with an escape. He's up by one. Max Muir from Evansburg, Pennsylvania. Good little flurry there. Fingers, get out of fingers. But somehow Mirajin has to find an angle. How does he do it? Yeah, that, that's what Gomez is doing such a great job of. He's ready to down block. And he comes back in. It's, it's, didn't get the underhook that he wanted, but he brought, it, brought himself back into balance. So how do you get uh, uh, Gomez? He's got a little bit of a slight angle. Can you pull him down, stuff his head? you got to work him high and low and try to get an angle. And you see what makes that... that Tough for Muir is that he's pretty, predominantly a left leg at lead. Sometimes you just got to go square and change your stance up, and he catches him a little bit of indecision right there. Great yet, job by yet, Gomez. He's got the bottom leg locked right there. If he can get his head up here, he can score. Still got that single leg. Ooh. He chases down the other leg, and there's the takedown for Gomez, his second of the match. Really impressed with his quickness. Yeah. Really well schooled. Out of bounds, no change. Badger fans cover to their feet here inside the field house. Set, color, red. Nice job there by Greer. He's still in this match. He can come back and get some points, but this is where Gomez is pretty solid. He's not giving up a stall warning. Mirren dives in, but right into the chest of Austin Gomez. Drifts back to the center of the mat, butt towards the center, keeping territory. Oh, on red. On red. There's a stall call on warning Gomez. On That's a good call. Just savvy. Austin Gomez, a couple of takedowns. And he beats Max Mirren 5-3. Gonna have a lot of fun here at 165 pounds. First meeting between these two. You got a four-time Minnesota State champion in Patrick Kennedy. Dean Hammity won three Illinois State titles. Probably would have won four, but COVID canceled that tournament. And something has got to give two guys Jim Wrestling really well. Yeah, I really like this matchup here. You know, this is a tremendous weight class nationally here with three returning national champions and probably any other normal year where you didn't have that many studs coming back. Title is coming back. You know, these guys will be up in the rankings a little bit further. Kennedy, guy who did his time in the room, he ended up, uh, you can see him starting to come along. Be an interesting style matchup. Dean Hammity really makes you move. 
really tough in the top position. He's a great scrambler. So kind of more like the stalker and block versus the guy that's going to be a little more freewheeling and light. Dean Hammity, 13 and 3. Fingers, get out of fingers. Let it go. Fell to David Carr. Lost to Quincy Monday of Princeton in the Midlands final. And then last Sunday, gave up a takedown to Cam Amina of Michigan inside Cliff Keen Arena in the final seconds of the third. Dropped a 5 3 match. Recovered, pinning Cooper Norrie of Purdue this past Friday night. You see early in the match, Kennedy coming hard with that collar tie, coming back with, with the underhook right there. He has the position he wants. And Hammity just kind of floats right out of that with a double overhook. Comes back to the head. Really a great style matchup. Love watching these types of matches. Hammity, a real crowd favorite. Here's an attack by Kennedy. And Hammity changed the corner, turns the corner on him right there. Sal is going ahead, locking up there. Locks up in the crotch there. Kennedy on the crackdown. I'm not so sure he wants to be there. He wants to get up and maybe switch to a double. See Hammity there coming up through the crotch. And he's got a better angle right now as they roll up to the top position. The hands over the top there. Looks like uh, Kennedy's adjusted his Stop, grip. Dummy. And the referee calls a stalemate. Yeah. Kennedy 12 and 1. Cut. His lone defeat to David Carr of Iowa State 10 4. So Carr has beat both these guys. This weight class, of course, is stacked. Answering shot there by Hamity. Finds himself with that good long reach. Comes up into balance. Fought off well by Kennedy. Kennedy from Casson Manorville, Minnesota. Hamity from Joliet, Illinois. Again, right fingers. to the collar, uh, underhook tie right Not there. Works it back here, trying to work the shelf. And then Hamity flips the hips over the top. Again, you see Kennedy clinging to that single leg. Yeah, but he's inching away, inch around the corner right there. Now he's in a better position to lift here. And, and Kennedy's got to watch it because that cradle's locked up. Or it's close, anyway. Wasn't able to get it. Hammond is extremely dangerous with the cradles. Yeah. Kennedy doing a nice job of keeping his head away from his knees. But at the same time, keeping that grip around the leg. Stop. Still made whistle with 46 seconds. Really like the way both guys have gotten after it here. Good attempts by, by uh, Kennedy off the underhook. Fingers, get out of fingers, guys. Got to look at Tom Brands. He's in his 17th season wow. at Iowa. Kennedy able to skip away. Now he's got a front headlock. Underhook on the right side. Yeah, I don't expect uh, Ray Santiago, the official here, to allow him to stay in this position long. He's done a good job of keeping these guys moving throughout the meet so far. Now the underhook. Around fingers, the waist get out of fingers. Here by Kennedy. He's got the head position, but you can see very comfortable as Hammond. He's looking for maybe even pick ankles in here. Just now they come down to the mat inside the final 10 seconds of the first. Limp arm here from Kennedy. And the first period is in the book. That was a good first period. Several attacks. No points yet, but the good first period by both guys. He's going down. He's going down. Tom Brands, as head coach of Iowa, has won four team titles. Most recently in 2021. Zach, cover red. Here we go. 2008, 9, and 10. They went three in a row. Oh, here's the claw ride right there. Right and off the whistle. Yep. Now he's fighting wrists right there. Good job by Kennedy. And he, even though he didn't have any, you know, hand control right there, he bumped him forward here with his hips, right? So bumping him forward here, trying to keep him on his hands, keep Kennedy on his hands. Now the mat return, good lift right there. Settles low on the hips, actually below the belt buckle right there. Now he reaches for a cradle. Kennedy gets out of it. Fun. Little gamble there on, on uh, Hammity's part, but I don't think this match is going to be settled by just, you know, one guy riding the other. Center. Kennedy on the scoreboard first, one nothing. You said it before, Jim. Styles make fights. Yeah, this is a good style differential before these two guys. They got. They have a. Hammond, he has a lot of little tricks, a lot of little different ways to get to your ankles. And the power style of Patrick Kennedy working off that underhook. Can he go ahead and get anything? You know, get to two legs at once. Right there, stuffs the head. Down, down. Clear. 
Nice job of coming back up to his feet and balance. Dean Hammity, the 2022 Big Ten Freshman of the Year. He was third last March underneath. in Lincoln. Followed that up with a sixth place finish at the NCAAs. He was 28 and four. Fantastic season looking to build off of that here in 2023. Looking for Hammity to work in space now. Got the reach there that he wanted. Dove in on a shot. Right into the chest of Kennedy. We're out of it, we're out of it. Short time, 20 seconds. 20 seconds remaining. Work out of it, work out of it. Stop, stalemate, we're not improving. Good stalemate call again. Check. See if either one of these guys will take a risk late in the second period. Fingers, watch your hands. They go forehead to forehead. There's that front headlock from the Hawkeye. It's peeling all that, gets right to it. See how he goes, gets that cheap little angle right there, drops his level, sees if he can pick up an ankle. Red choice. Red now, how many will go on bottom? And what you don't want to do here, you could be thinking That's one, set. not two, okay, green if, cover if, if you're Kennedy. This Hammity will look for the reversal right away. One. There's a switch attempt on the hand fighting. See how he's looking for that switch. He was almost all the way out there, and he's looking for something big from the bottom position. Some good top work here from Kennedy. Yeah. The opening 15 seconds for the third period. One. And no, diving no, no. right back no, in, no, as you no, said, Jim, no, no, that's no. what he does. Yeah, he drives back so green. right back in, but Kennedy's so in a pretty so decent green. situation to be able to go ahead. I still got green. I still got Stay green. Ankles. Now is Hamity a better position? Let's, let's see how he tries here. to prove this right here. ankle. Kennedy's Stop. got Stop. that right ankle, and he still made his whistle. No change, no change. No change. Yeah, that's probably the first time when we saw a quick stalemate. But puts Hamity back down. I expect him to continue to look for reversals. Quickly to his feet. A little bit better job of getting out there. Gets all the way right behind him. Gets, you don't need to get taken down to the mat here. You just have to get all the way behind him here. Now look for the mat return. You Good job, Kennedy. Kennedy. Take notes. Now, when yeah. you're wrestling Hamity, you better be careful because he'll come and get those reversals. Now over the top now. This is tough here for Hamity. Now he slides back into the wizard situation. Limps back out. This is great for, for uh, Kennedy. Well, he dies right there for that level. Now he comes back in a better position to be able to score. He freezes right two ankle and scores. Two for Hamity. He's a four to two. Great scrambling from Hamity. Just impressive body control from the Badger. Uh, got some funk. Yeah, he comes into the near. Now that he's got this puddle locked up right there. He's trying to keep. He loses the position because he's trying to keep his right. Uh, he's okay, Jim. He's, he's got, got the right ankle stable. inside the mat, but he could give up a reversal here pretty quickly. No near fall. Easily. No near fall. Yeah, let's take a look at this beautiful reversal here. Comes back in, dives back through on the counter. Looks like Kennedy's coming around just to watch this diving up underneath. Got red. No, no. Gets himself. You were not on the, the takedown right there. Caution red. I, I really thought Kennedy did a great job after giving up the reversal to get uh, the quick escape. Go ahead. On the elbow. So 22 seconds. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> and now Tom Brands wants to talk to the officials at the head table. Fans letting him hear it here in Madison. Very first time Jim I ever saw Tom Brands was in this building, Big Tens in 1992. Tom wants a second place back on the clock. Nothing gets by Tom Brands, or very little anyways. <laughs> yeah, that call that he had in the Nebraska match right, one of the few times that I ever see one of his bricks not work. So, oh, man, take your spot. Yep. Again, Hold if you're handy, you know, one, not two. He can afford to give the escape. He does right there. Keeps one, himself in three, good we're position. Neutral. We're neutral here. Quick escape from Kennedy makes it a one-point match. Final 10 seconds. Inside trip. Can he switch to a double? Dean Hammity of Wisconsin holds on to the 4-3 decision. Fun match. a fall at the moment Wisconsin's got the five victories and you see the total match points 
27-23. And at the moment, Iowa, of course, will need a win from Cassiope. And if Cassiope gets a major decision, Iowa will win this one by one. And Cassiope has been spectacular, 15-0. He's got 10 pins, nine in the first period. They call him Thor in Wisconsin. Trent Hilger, who is 0-6 lifetime against Tony Cassiope. Their last meeting at the Big Tens last March, it was 9-3 for the Hawkeye. And Cassiope, with those six victories, three are major decisions. If he gets one here today, the Hawkeyes but out of the fingers, slide out guys. of here with a one-point dual meet victory. Well, if they get it done, the Badgers, they're going to have to do it the hard way. Again, you mentioned 0-6 against Cassiope is Hilger, but, you know, these are the things that legends are made of here. It's still a bit different when you've been put in this situation here in this match at this moment. One thing that we know about Hilger, he's pretty tough from the top position, and he's added the size from last year. Wisconsin's last victory over Iowa was 2007. Remember Dallas Herbst stepping up big for Wisconsin in that dual meet victory. No score, 60 seconds in. A little bit surprised you, all of a sudden it's got quiet in here. <laughs> Exactly. This fan base should be on its feet. No doubt about it. They, they just let their guy know that they're all the way behind him here. This is a great moment here. And see if you can go ahead and add to that pressure. We already saw where it helped in that match at 184 with the fall. Should be deafening here inside the field house. So Again, 5,056, a new Wisconsin dual meet record set action. today. Now they're making some noise. Yeah, there you go. I don't know, while you were signing autographs, Shane, I talked to a few of the fans out there. They thought that they might have a chance to win a couple matches, and now they find themselves in a great Battle situation fingers. here to do something historical. One minute here in the first. Hilger and Cassiope. Familiar foes meeting for the seventh time in their college careers. Neither guy has really kind of t gotten off a shot yet at this point, so. Trent Hilger, a three-time All-American. Wow. Good counter action there by Hilger. See how he got to the left and ended up uh, almost picking a knee at the Cassiope. He didn't quite drive over it, but. Cassiope, a three-time All-American as well. He was seventh last March in Detroit. He was a Big Ten runner-up, medically forfeiting that final to Gable Stevenson in Lincoln last March. Short time in the first. Both guys have had their looks. But committed shots there if they could get to it, but settling for those half shots. Good period, though, for Hilger to stay in this thing. You know, you've been 0-6 against the guy. He's going to go ahead and defer and give Hilger the choice in the bottom position. And this is where Cassiope has been so good in these matches with Hilger. Yeah, and he's gotten off to the side. He's collected a wrist. Good mount returns. Good jam off the whistle. Hilger coming to back hard. Getting some back pressure, trying to cut that right arm inside. He walks out of it, gets the escape. That is huge for the Badger. Quick escape in the second period. I like what he did there. He knew fingers, that Cassiope was going to attack go. that near wrist, and he came back and turned into that pressure right there. And then when the pressure came, became too much, that's when he was able to use that to go out and get his to stand up and walk away. Cassiope yeah, aggressive right there. Single leg. Now a Kilger in a cutback position right there. Can he come over the top? He grabs the leg. Cassiope trying to get the right arm or left arm across the body. If he can do that, he'll score. Left arm across the body. All right. Looks like Hilger's thinking about passing an ankle or hanging out for dear life and trying to get that stalemate. But that's the neutral danger call. Neutral danger two. Came out. 
The count began. Yes. And Hilger able to get to his belly as they continue wrestling. Here comes the challenge brick from the Iowa corner. You saw that fly in. So well, Iowa will challenge this call. Well, I think he's going to challenge the fact that there may have been a three count there on the neutral danger. Oh, really? They... So Tom Brand's having a discussion, and the officials will go to the video review. Trent Hilger with the escape leading 1 0. As the back. Badgers have the Hawkeyes on the ropes, leading at 18 15. Right there. See how Hilger's got a lock. He's got that great grip there, and he knows when to go ahead and roll through. But there's neutral danger one, possibly two. Uh, I don't think he got it, Shane. I don't think he got it. I think that's a good call, good stalemate call. And the way that is communicated, the official will say, danger, identify the color, this one being red, and then the count begins, one, two, three. If it gets to three, it's two points. If it gets to two, and he rolls to his belly, confirmed. starts we only had the count, a two count over. So we're still neutral. Period was over, right? That's a good call, good review. And I think only got to a two count. And I think that you know, under the circumstances, that's a good uh, good brick toss right there. So 45 seconds as we wrestle neutral here in the second period. And you can see what where, where Cassiope got his head on the right shoulder of Sarah. He gets his head over up there on the right side of, of Hilger, right? To Cassiope's left. And that's where he's dropping and getting a good angle on that shot. Dropping, getting his head on the other side. Gets his head over that side, and that's where he wants to get offense, and Hilger doing a great job of reacting. Off Good the defense from Hilger to keep it to his advantage, 1-0. Watch Cassiope's head. He drops out of that, drops his stance, and gets over that side. That's what he's looking for to attack that right leg of Hilger. Right there. That time he did it off the snap. There's Bobby Telford, All-American for Wisconsin. John Reeder and Chris Bono. Everybody in the corners on their feet. Now they sit back down. And now with a quick escape with Hilger, we know he's tough in the top position. He likes to ride unconventionally for a big man. He likes to put those legs in. Good job with Cassiope. Back pressuring, making the turn. Pretty much equal on the escapes. It'll be about conditioning here. He switched up that time. Great job of Cassiope pushing that head away. The knee away here, clearing his head, collecting the points after he scooped the leg. Tony Cassiope, his first lead of the match, three to one. A win here Keep for Cassiope. And Iowa will win this on total match point score. Total match points scored in the matches that did not involve a fall. We had a fall at 125 for Spencer Lee of Iowa, Tyler Dell at 184. Those matches do not count in the total match points criteria. It's got him spread out right there. You mentioned earlier in the match how Cassiope is so tough in the top position. Go work, gentlemen. I need both guys to work. I need both guys to work. Way gentlemen, over you know. the top the guy. Now he's got a two-on-one wrist ride. And, and right there at that moment, there, Hilger doing the correct thing and turning into it. Almost knocked, Keep knocked him off of it. Riding time coming up on a minute here for Cassiope. Look at Cassiope up on the shoe tops. A lot of forward pressure. Good awareness no, there as he keeps that. Stop. Toe and bounce as long as he can. Yeah, great Good awareness. That was one beautiful shot that he hit from the misdirection. He was going, we talked about him putting his head on the other side, really showing it, and then came back to the other side with a swing single. Well Set done. Cover. Good effort by Wisconsin today. 
crowd of over 5,000 got to see an exciting duel with the Hawkeyes and the Badgers. And this will set things up for the 1-2 showdown. A pair of undefeated teams next Friday night at Penn State with the Hawkeyes and Nittany Lions. Cassiope doing a beautiful job of controlling right there. But I tell you what, the work he did on his feet in the third period was really impressive. Yeah, one right with the riding time points, Tony Cassiope with the 4-1 decision as he improves to 7-0 and against Trent Hilger and more importantly, gives the Hawkeyes the dual meet victory this afternoon, 18-18.